Hi fans of high quality entertainment. As some of you know, I am a big fan of Sparks. I have been since 1974. I have, I think, yeah, over 50 videos on this channel about them in a playlist. You can check that out on the front channel. And in 20, I think it was 2015, I ranked all of the Sparks albums up to that point. And that video has over 50,000 views. So thank you if you've watched it. Even Edgar Wright uh, has seen that video and he left a very nice comment about it. And I thought because to celebrate the, the new Sparks album, The Girl is Crying in Her Latte, and also the fact that last night they sold out the Royal Albert Hall, and they're selling it out again tonight. They're playing it once more tonight. So two nights at Royal Albert Hall. And it's just amazing for a band that's been together for over 50 years that their popularity seems to be <laughs> rising. I don't want to take all of the credit. But, yeah, you know, I have... I think turned on some viewers to Sparks through the years without, you know, at first, the first few videos I talked about them, I didn't think anybody would even listen to me <laughs> or even bother to check them out. Uh, you know, I'm just a fan and I loved talking about them and people actually did check out their music. And probably even today, somebody's going to ask in the comments section, what, what album should I start with? I want to, you know, check them out. And I always say, they have so many, such a variety of music that I've made a Spotify playlist. So if I remember, I'll have it in the pinned comment below. And it goes through their whole career from 1971 up to their latest album. So let's start this. I'm going to, you know, I was thinking of different ways of doing this, maybe in separate videos like I did before a few years back. But I just want to do it in one video, and I'll try and not <laughs> drag it out too far, like I, too much, like I have already. So 26 albums. I'm not including their live album, Two Hands, One Mouth. Or their, uh, their greatest hits album. And this is the three CD. But I am including FFS, which is their collaboration with Franz Ferdinand, and the soundtrack to Annette. And my rankings have definitely changed since the last video for the, you know, the earlier albums. And I don't, as much as I've been a, a Sparks fan through the years, I think I am at my peak of being a Sparks fan in the last uh, few weeks. And listening back to some of the albums that I thought were just okay or maybe not even that good, I have a new appreciation even for those. So here we go. At the bottom. But I still like it. And I guess it's at the bottom because I really haven't played it very much. I played it maybe two or three times. I just need to play it more. I really enjoyed the movie. And this is the soundtrack. Sparks Annette. With Adam Driver. And please also, you know, you're not going to agree with me on my some of my choices. Just remember, everybody has different opinions. So that's at number 26. And my favorite song on the soundtrack is So So May We Start. Number 25 is Plagiarism, which in the documentary, the Sparks Brothers, even Ron and Russell Mail, I think they were kind of pushed by the record company because their previous album had done pretty well. And so they wanted, you know, they had some new listeners and they thought, why don't you redo some of your old songs? And 
I think overall, you know, it, it is a good album, but you know, it's kind of hidden miss. My favorite song on this is Angst in My Pants, like a harder edged version of the, their very popular song. And their collaboration with Faith No More for something for the girl with everything. Although I don't care for their version with Faith No More of This Town Ain't Big Enough for Both of Us. So that's at 25. 24, which I, like I said, I have a new appreci appreciation for. Terminal Jive. This was a this was the first big disappointment for me after 1979's Number One in Heaven. Uh, it just lacked their personality. It was kind of average, I guess. But like I said, I've listened to it recently, and I, you know, When I'm With You is a classic. It's a great song, and it was a big hit in uh, France. Just Because You Love Me, Rock and Roll People in a Disco World. When I'm With You, the instrumental is kind of a fun listen, but it's kind of like filler for the album. And then Young Girls, Noisy Boys, Stereo, and The Greatest Show on Earth. I would say besides When I'm With You, my favorite song is Stereo. And my least favorite song is probably the instrumental When I'm With You. But it's still a good album. Number 23. And I, like I said, I listened to this one recently. I've, it's never been one of my favorites. And I enjoyed it more than ever. Pulling rabbits out of a hat. Uh, my favorite song would be, well, With All My Might. That should have been a hit single. Such a great, and it's a like a serious love song, which Sparks didn't <laughs> do too many of. But I would say besides that, my favorite song is Pulling Rabbits Out of a Hat. But Love Scenes is so good. And progress, Pretending to be Drunk. Yeah, it's actually a great album. Number 22. This used to be at the bottom. And it isn't anymore, because I listened to it recently, again. <laughs> Interior Design. My favorite song is so important, but th th there used to be songs on this that I couldn't stand. Lots of reasons. Uh, love a <laughs> And now, I love those songs. Uh, so my favorite song is so important, along with the Toughest Girl in Town, yeah. which they have done recently on in their live concerts. 21. Balls. Very good album. My favorite song would be The Calm Before the Storm. But yeah, I, I really love all of these songs. It's Educational, The Angels, Bullet Train, How to Get Your Ass Kicked. <laughs> yeah, excellent album. You can see why I'm a Sparks fan, because, like I said, there were some of those albums that I thought were just okay, but I have a new love for them. And some of them I had not played for <laughs> a few years, like uh, Pulling Rabbits Out of a Hat. And then, you know, a fresh new listen, it's like, this is a lot better than I thought it was. Number 20 has really gone up. And I wouldn't even say recently, I, I would say a couple years ago I started to play this again, and I love it. Music that you can dance to. And I always used to knock fingertips and say it's the, the worst song that Sparks ever did. 
I actually like it now. It's not a favorite of mine, but I actually do enjoy it now. And Armies of the Night, I know that Change is on, I think, the American version of this. And Change is awesome, but Armies of the Night is a superb song too. So my favorite song would be, I think, Armies of the Night. And then uh, Music That You Can Dance To. And uh, Shopping Mall of Love, which is Molly's favorite when they <laughs> performed it last year in Toronto. And I think they're still performing that on the new tour. Great album. 19. I don't play this very much. And I think it's because it's not all Sparks. And maybe I'm jealous or something. Because it should just be Sparks. <laughs> FFS, that's when they uh, collaborated with Franz Ferdinand, and nothing against them as a band. And I did see them in concert, and it was a great concert in Toronto in 20, I think 2015 maybe? Yeah, 2015, when this came out. My favorite song is Johnny Delusional, and... Police Encounters, Collaborations Don't Work. It is a great album. I'll play it tonight. Number 18 I think would be a little higher for, other, for most other Sparks fans. But once again I still do love the album. It is Gratuitous Sex and Senseless Violence. Now, when this came out, I hadn't heard about Sparks in about five or six years. I thought they were done after the album Interior Design. And one day I saw this in the record store. It's like, a new Sparks album? It says it right there. New, new album. <laughs> of course, it includes their big hit, When Do I Get to Sing My Way, which is probably my favorite, along with When I Kiss You, I Hear Charlie Parker Playing. But yeah, this is a great album, all the way through. Number 17, Exotic Creatures of the Deep. My favorite song would be, I think, Strange Animal. It's got some pretty heavy, it's pretty heavy, man, some of them. And I've Never Been High is great, too. Yeah, another very solid album. Number 16, which I think would be probably in the top five for some Sparks fans. But, as always, just remember, I love all of these albums. Lil Beethoven. Definitely takes a few listens to really appreciate it. My favorite song would be... My Baby's Taking Me Home, which is just amazing when they do it live. And also Suburban Homeboy. But this is when they really started to make their comeback with Superb albums. Number 15, Sparks in Outer Space. Favorite song is Popularity. And I would say the only song, one of the few Spark songs that I think is kind of weak, weak, I've never cared for, is Please Baby Please. Other than that, I love the album. Number 14. This is when they came back and started making rock songs again, and they formed another band, and they put out Want That Sucker. What a great album. My favorite song would be, there's so many, I Married a Martian, Upstairs, uh, Funny Face, great album. I, I just switched two around because, you know, tomorrow I might rank the albums a little differently tomorrow. It's, you know, how you feel on the day. But I definitely have 
needed to switch these two around. So number 13 at the moment is Hello Young Lovers. My favorite song is Dick Around. And Metaphor. And... And Baby Baby Can I Invade Your Country. <laughs> number 13. Yeah, I switched it with number 12 because... I'm actually surprised this isn't in my top 10, but like I said, Sparks have so many great albums for me. It is Big Beat at number 12. Favorite song is Confusion along with uh, I Like Girls, Screwed Up. I never used to care for Everybody Stupid. But I like it a lot more now. Number 11. It didn't make my top 10. <sighs> Their debut album, which was first Half Nelson, the band Half Nelson, and then this album didn't sell, so they repackaged it with a new name, and it still didn't sell. <laughs> Sparks. My favorite song would be No More Mr. Nice Guys, not the Alice Cooper song. They did their version before Alice Cooper. And the other song I that's would be my favorite is Slow Boat. Produced by Todd Rundgren. Excellent debut. Well, it looks like their latest album made my top ten. I've listened to it a lot, so I did not rush into doing this ranking. But I know where it stands now with the rest of the discography. Number 10. Very underrated. Uh, I think since the Sparks documentary and Flea talking about it, introducing Sparks has grown in stature. But I've always loved it. When they did their solo tour in Toronto in uh, 2013, they performed those mysteries. And I was right at the front of the stage, so that was something else, I tell you. My favorite song is Those Mysteries, and also Goofing Off, and Ladies. Number nine, number nine, number nine. From 2017, Hippopotamus, another one of their great comeback albums that went to number seven on the UK charts. My favorite song is Missionary Position. And then there's so many good songs on that. Scandinavian Design. Giddy Giddy is so annoying. <laughs> but it's, I, I love it. Uh, what the hell is it this time? I wish you were fun. Great help. Number eight. Angst in my pants. First time I saw Sparks was for this tour in 1982 at the Elma Combo in Toronto. My favorite song would be The Decline and Fall of Me. And also... So many great ones. Mustache, uh, Nicotina, I Predict, Mickey Mouse. Number seven. A woofer in Tweeter's Clothing, their second album. I remember, you know, after I bought Kimono My House Propaganda and Indiscreet, I was in Toronto one day and they had the first two albums. I brought them home. I loved their debut, Sparks, right away. This one was so weird, so different from their debut that I did not like it. <laughs> but I love it now, of course. My favorite song, and, and one of my all-time favorite Sparks songs, is Whippings and Apologies. And then Beaver O'Lindy, which they do on the current tour. 
And here comes Bob. Number six, a steady drip, drip, drip. What a great follow-up to Hippopotamus. My favorite song is Selfie Vasing. And All That, which is usually their cl closing number on their last couple of tours. Went to number seven in the UK charts again. Number five. The girl is crying in her latte. That's right, it is number five. And I think most Sparks fans are really happy with this. I've read a couple of negative reviews saying that it's one of my least favorites and all that, but you know, everybody has a different opinion and it's, it's to be expected. But it has been, like I said, been getting a lot of great reviews. Uh, I'm hoping, I think it's gonna be in the top 10 for the UK charts for sure, and maybe higher than number seven, unlike their last two albums, like the last two albums that went to number seven. Uh, my favorites are, nothing is as good as they say it is, you were meant for me, and and when you leave, which is hilarious. But I think the best thing about this album is the way it flows. It's their, one of their most consistent albums for li listening to from start to finish. Number five. Number four. Number one in heaven. And I just, uh, on my other channel, my uh, Larry Graves a ASMR, I I'm also uploading a, a video about Sparks and just talking about all of these albums without ranking them. And like I said in the video, I remember when this was about to come out, Sparks had gone disco and I wasn't a big fan of most disco, right? But first listen, I loved it. I was so impressed with this. And it still sounds fresh today. My favorite song would be, I know most would choose the number one song in heaven, which is great, but I'm gonna go with Trials for the Human Race and Beat the Clock. So there's three spots left, and I think some of these Sparks fans know what the albums are already, because I haven't talked about them yet. And these kind of interchange throughout the years because this used to be number one, and sometimes it still is. Sparks, Indiscreet, produced by Tony Visconti. My favorite song is Hospitality on Parade. Uh, the Lady is Lingering, Miss the Start, Miss the End. I played this so many times. Look, I've even got the vinyl given to me by Glenn Kellaway from the basement. Number two, Propaganda, which I think last time, I think the last time I ranked Sparks, I think it was number one. It's not, it's number two. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. These are all such excellent albums. My favorite song is... Ugh. Bon Voyage, and Never Turn Your Back on Mother Earth. Number one is Kimono My House, <laughs> which is, for most Sparks fans, it, it would be number one, or at least in the top five. Uh, and yeah, even the last time I played this, my least favorite song is uh, In My Family, but I really enjoyed it this time, like more than ever. So this is just the greatest, one of the greatest albums ever.
And that is it. I have ranked all of the Sparks albums. I'm not doing this again for another five years when they release hopefully two or three more albums. And uh, Molly and I are seeing them again in Toronto on July 3rd. And looking forward to that. I would love your thoughts on what you think are, you know, what are your favorite Sparks albums and your least favorite, favorite songs and everything. Be sure to check out my Sparks playlist on Spotify if you're not f familiar, <laughs> familiar with the band. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.